Hello everyone. Someone asked me, how do I make kombucha? And if I do make kombucha, yes, I do make kombucha. So, um, I'm going to start a new batch and I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, very simple. It's no hassle. I use tea bags. You can use loose, loose tea, which I have used. But when I'm in a brush and in a pinch, this is what I do. I take some loose tea bags and I put it in some jar. Doesn't have to be a lot because I have the exact amount of sugar that I use and tea for the container that I am going to brew it in. So uh, I'm using 10 tea bags and I'm using a mix of jasmine and green tea. Uh, you don't want to use any flavor tea when you make uh, kombucha. You want to do it as natural as possible. And then we're going to add sugar. So to this, I'm going to add one cup of sugar. And since I ran out of cane sugar, I'm just going to use plain white sugar. But if you have cane sugar, it's even better. Uh, don't use anything like um, um, any pasty type of sugars. You want to be able to use uh, a powdered sugar so, or, or little granulars of sugar. So I'm going to use one cup. Where is my measuring spoon? There it is. And I'm going to do two halves so I don't spill it everywhere. Oh, not just my granddaughter's shaking you around, right? Okay, so we're going to do two halves so it's just easier for me to fill the jar. And then just a little extra to really get it going. Don't have to, but I always do. It's a habit I have. And to this, I'm going to add water that has been boiled. And remember, it doesn't matter the, so the size jar that you do this in. Um, mind you, the bigger it is, the better it is for you to slowly, so I don't drop it everywhere. Uh, the bigger the jar is, the better it is for you to dissolve that sugar, but it's not really a necessity. You just want to dissolve that sugar and to steep your tea. And we're going to steep it for, I'd say, a whole day until my water really cools off and my tea is nice and strong. I'm just holding my tea bag so they don't fall in. Maybe I should have mixed my sugar first and then put in my tea bag. Eh? Da -da. Sometimes we just don't think the way we should. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to lift these up and just mix the bottom with a chopstick or a spoon. And I'm not sure if you guys ever go out and buy kombucha, but kombucha could get pretty expensive if it's a habit if you have a habit of drinking it, uh, they could range from $3. Here, I'm just going to pull these up for a sec. They could range from $3 all the way up to $6, depending the brand. And they, it could get expensive if you're drinking a bottle of kombucha a day. So my sugar is almost dissolved, which is good. And now I'm going to put back my tea bag, and I'm just going to cover it and let it steep. Now you can use a lid for this or you can use uh, one of those uh, soy cloths to cover it so that nothing goes in or even just a piece of parchment with an elastic that'll be good. And I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna keep the rest of this water and while this cools off I'm gonna also use that in my bottle that I'm gonna fill up. There we go. Now, you also will need, um, you will also need, of course, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't brewed kombucha, kombucha before, you need a scoby. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Mine's a little overgrown. It might look gnarly, but it's still good. Okay, so I'm just going to put this aside. Uh, paper. Okay, these are one of my wraps that I make. I'm just going to drape this over. And this way nothing goes into my 
There we go. Nothing goes into my tea. And I'm going to let that steep until tomorrow morning. Uh, what I do have to do is I have to clean up my jar because I haven't done it all winter. So my jar, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I have a clean one going here, ready. But I just want to show you what it looks like. Okay, uh, before I show you the jar, I'm going to show you uh, what you can use. Um, to bottle your kombucha these would be the best bottles to use for your kombucha these keep a nice little seal and keeps all the fizziness inside the bottle um, if if you don't have those and you have like I've saved some of my old kombucha bottles and uh, they also keep a great seal and this is another bottle that you can use or if you don't have any bottles you could also put them in mason jars uh, make sure that the lid is nice and tight so that it doesn't uh, it doesn't lose the fizziness. But uh, you can use uh, sorry you can use mason jars. You can use old kombucha bottles, or if you really want to get fancy and have all these nice bottles ready for you, they come in a dark color or they come in a clear color. So this is a nice choice to have, and they're they're great. There's no labels on it. You fill whatever you want. You can label your own with a date uh, when you made it. Uh, or if you're like we are, we drink it as soon as the batch is made and then we make a new batch. You don't even have to worry about dating it. But these are the type of jars that you or bottles you can use to put your kombucha in. Yeah, I've got way too much. So this is going to go in either compost or you can save it. And you've got still more scoby down here so I'm gonna take some of the scoby I've got lots of scoby and I'm just gonna put it in a plate hold on guys I'm gonna shake you up put some of the scoby aside make sure your hands are clean when you're doing this I've got lots of scoby guys Yeah, I'm not going to need much, so I'm going to put this in my new jar. Whoop, right there. You see it? And I'm going to take this container and I'm going to wash it up and use my cleaner one or put everything back in here because I know exactly how much sugar and how much tea goes in here to make my large batch of kombucha. Okay, so now, let me just pull this out. Let me just go rewash my hands one more time. Kombucha does not want to be overtouched. Okay, hands are clean. Is this still too big? Maybe that's too big. Let me... Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do because you can just, I've got more scobies than I need. So I'm going to put this in a reserve. So it's going in my bowl. I'm just going to show you. There you go. And I'm going to cover this so it doesn't get, uh, it doesn't get, uh, what's the word? It doesn't get dried up. And I have, if you can see, more scoby that's forming on top of this. This is just plain kombucha. Uh, and some scoby. So I am going to put this right into my jar along with the, all the scobies that are growing in there. I might have to break that apart. Look at that. I just want to show you how it grows. Look at that. Do you see it? Do you see all the layers, how it grows? So when you have lots of scoby, what you could do is you can share this with friends and family if they want to start making kombucha. So I'm going to have to break this apart. Wrong choice of bottle, right? Okay, let me do this without looking clumsy. Let me just dump all the water first. All the kombucha. <laughs> yeah, that bottle is going into recycle. So I'm going to have to cut this bottle so I can get my scoby out. Okay, sorry guys. I was talking to no one. I just had to cut open my bottle to get my um, 
my scoby out and this is a fresh fresh scoby so i am going to use that one instead since i'm starting over this other one i'm going to leave as a reserve and i will feed it also some tea this one that i pulled apart earlier i'm not sure if you can see it i put it in a container which is going to go into a jar and i will give it also some tea so it can start making scoby but i decided to use the fresher scoby and that's going to become my mother eventually so i am going to be i'm going to be making uh, about a gallon of kombucha the tea that i'm using and the sugar that i'm using the one cup of sugar with the 10 tea, 10 tea bags will give me a gallon of kombucha and as i as we drink it we're going to make a new batch and fill up our jug and the scoby always stays in if you see your scoby starts making a lot of yeast at the bottom you might want to just clean your jars and get some of that yeast out of there Other, otherwise it'll just be too yeasty and it might become vinegar on you so you always want to keep it as fresh as you can so i'm going to cover this really good and um i'm not going to put uh, a cap on it i'm going to put either material i use one of my homemade napkins right on top and that's going to be uh, my cover so this way uh, no fruit flies love this stuff so you don't want to get any fruit flies in there because if you do you're going to have a mess so we are going to just put an elastic around this this is too tight there we go we're just going to put a nice elastic around this and it's going to keep anything from going inside our kombucha. So I'm just going to show you what I've got going here. I wish you could smell my kitchen. My daughter decided that she's going to be the one who's going to make my hubby or her father dinner today. And... She is making a uh, lemon herb chicken with veggies. With veggies. It I'm smells amazing. She says she's going to share the recipe with all of you guys soon. Or maybe she'll put it on her. Um, she's going to put it on her. She's starting to do videos again. She's been really, really busy. and uh, But she's going to start making videos again. And she's going to put it on her YouTube. So I'm going to also link you if you want to go check out some of her recipes she's a pretty good creator in the kitchen okay so how simple was that right guys that's an extra uh, believe it or not this is going to keep growing as long as I put sugar and water or sugar and tea in here this scoby is going to keep growing so if you want to start sharing some of this really beneficial tea with your friends I say save some of those scobies keep giving it uh, sugar and tea and believe it or not it's going to consume the sugar you're hardly going to have any sugar in your uh, kombucha and it's also going to uh, take all the uh, the caffeine out of the tea also so you shouldn't worry about caffeine and sugar when you're drinking kombucha you should think about all the benefits that it does uh, we're starting uh, our new fast uh, after our fast we're starting to uh, put a lot of healthy uh, probiotics and probiotic foods with probiotics in our bodies to give our body a great start after um, after doing a, a fast uh, for me especially it's going to be a nice long fast it's going to be 30 days i feel strong like a horse uh, today i'm doing just water again i'm doing water all day and i'm doing that for all the animals sorry that are starved for 72 hours before they even get slaughtered so this is my uh, my tribute to them so today i'm going to do just water no juices whatsoever but yeah it's um it's a great drink to make uh and if you don't want to make it i say go out and buy it but try and buy the ones that say raw if it's raw you know there's going to be a bit of mother in there and a little bit of uh like scoby uh they call that the mother it's like buying a raw uh apple cider vinegar you're always going to have the mother inside and that's what's going to make uh, all the bene the all the probiotics that your body needs and to replace all the good flora in your gut so uh, i'm going to cover this up for now and then i am going to uh, find a jar to put this little guy in but for now i'm just going to cover it so nothing goes in it and that's how simple it is so right now we're just waiting for the tea uh, to uh, yeah i'm going to show you my tea that i'm steeping 
There we go. It's right there. That's tea and sugar. That's going to go into my jug. Now, this jug is a lot bigger than the one I... Um, it's a lot bigger than the one I normally use, but that one needs a wash, so I'm not going to fill this all the way up. I might just fill it up to there for now because this is way more... Uh, it holds way more liquid than the one that I do use all the time, which is one gallon. At one point, I had, um, oh my God, I had two, two like this, two of this size, plus the gallon, all going at the same time because I was also making it for my aunt. God, God bless her. She's, she's now gone. Um, she, she lived to be in her 90s, and she became vegan at 92 years old. What a trooper. She was amazing. She was amazing. I love that woman. We used to be together every day. So, um, there it is. Anyhow, this is the beginning of my kombucha. Uh, if you find you made too much kombucha and you can't keep up with it, you could actually turn some of it into vinegar. And, oh, my God, it is just as good as apple cider vinegar. So, you can make delicious vinegar with kombucha so don't be afraid if you have extra do not throw it out put it in a bottle and you're going to get vinegar and it's going to start making scobies see the, the little one that's what happens it'll just continue making scobies for you so it's up to you you could even throw them in the compost i've heard some people even eat it i tried eating it it was a little too tangy for me so i didn't bother uh, but if I have too much, I just either give it away or I just put it in my garden and feed my garden. So that's how simple it is. So I'll see you in a little bit and I'll show you when I add my tea and what I do with it. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here we go. Here is an example of what you need. If you want to start your own SCOBY because you can't find it, or if you find online and they don't deliver to you or it's too expensive because they could they could get pretty expensive if you're buying them online and they only give you a little piece of scoby they don't even give you a lot uh, you need to get it has to be original it has to be organic and it has to be raw this tea right now it's been in the refrigerator but if and I'm going to tell you about the refrigerator later because that's another thing. If you leave your kombucha out too long, it's going to get very vinegary and then you're not going to enjoy it. As soon as your kombucha has reached a certain, um, a certain tartness that you're okay with because everybody likes their kombucha a certain way. Some like it a little more tarty, some like it a little sweeter, some like it a little more like a tea. That is really up to you how you want to make your kombucha. That scoby is going to put a lot of probiotics in your uh, in your tea now this is not for this is not making a scoby because it's in the fridge so it stays as a nice bottle of kombucha but if I would leave this out right now and put it in a jar and then add sugar and tea to this bottle or into another jar it's gonna start making a very thin film on top almost like a thin skin but Anyhow, if you want to start your own kombucha, get yourself a raw, organic, original. No flavor whatsoever and start making your own kombucha. Leave it out in a big jar, covered with some material or some paper, however you want to cover it. Make sure no fruit flies go in it because they love to drink this stuff. Okay, so you, if you want to make a gallon, uh, a gallon of kombucha, you're going to make about 7 to 10 tea bags. Uh, you can start it in a small jar with a cup of, sorry, a cup of sugar and you're going to let that sit all day long till it picks up all the flavor of the tea and it cools off. Then you're going to add that tea to your gallon along with your room temperature kombucha and you're going to let it, um, you're going to let it start making a scoby. Okay, so you're going to keep testing it and you want it shouldn't be sugary you're going to start seeing some action you're going to start seeing a little bit of fizz uh, but like i said if you see that the sugars have gone away and your scoby is still very small it's not really going to be a complete kombucha yet because the scoby is very small i say um you can drink some of it and then make a new batch of tea and feed your scoby again there we go so you don't want to put anything hot in your big jug where you've got your scoby and your uh, like this one over here you don't want to put anything hot in there whatsoever the only time you're gonna have hot liquids is with your sugar and your tea not with anything that has to do with your kombucha and if you love it you could keep this going 
all the time. And as your scoby gets big, you can separate it. You could leave the mother or uh, pull out the new ones, but only when it's nice and thick. Don't start breaking that scoby when it's very thin because in the beginning it's going to be thin on you. So don't start breaking it because you're going to just... You know, you're going to ruin your scoby. When you see your scoby is becoming like an inch thick, you can start pulling that apart or even cutting it right in the middle. You could rip it apart and then you could put some away like I have right now. I've got some in this and I'm making a T just for this guy. And that blob is going to stay at the bottom. And believe it or not, if I have my T all the way up to here, that's where the new scoby is going to start growing. That's going to be a brand new scoby that's going to grow on you. So it's really easy. Making kombucha is very easy. And the best part is it's not expensive whatsoever. It's, and look at that. It is like solid up here. You can see that this is full of bubbles. Beautiful kombucha. So yeah, it's really, you need that starter. You need to spend... That first bottle and then and you need some green tea or jasmine tea you can use black tea if you want just don't use any flavor tea you don't want anything with fruits in it you want your kombucha to be plain then I'll show you how how to ha ooh, how to add um, juices and fruit or flowers inside your kombucha I do a lot of kombucha with flowers hibiscus. and like the hibiscus it is so delicious you could do hibiscus plus fruit let me tell you, you're going to die and go to heaven. It is just so, so good. My daughter's already itching because we started our new kombucha and she's already excited for it. So there you go. Uh, I'm going to show you later when I, um, when I start putting my filtered water. Remember, guys, you don't want tap water because if you're where you are, it has chlorine in the water. You will really destroy your, uh, your scoby. You don't want to do that. So you do need some filtered water. Uh, good filtered water with a good pH. Guys, sorry my camera closed. Um, so basically for five dollars you can start making your kombucha and you're gonna have kombucha as long as you want it. As long as you keep that scoby healthy you have no problem. Sorry. You have no problems whatsoever. So um, I'll be back and I'm gonna show you when I add. I made a small batch as you can tell right here of sugar and water. As long as it's sweet, it's going to love it. It's going to say thank you for all the sugar. This is like a little kid on sugar. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> they love their sugar. So um, as long as you feed them tea and sugar, your scoby is going to love you and just keep growing. So I have a small batch ready for that scoby. And it's going to keep making me scoby that I can give away to people. I know I have one cousin. She comes back every year. Connie, do you have any scoby left? Because I kind of destroyed the other one so I always have scoby ready for whoever wants it so I'll be back and I'm going to show you when I add my my tea mixture with some filtered water and I'm going to put it aside but what I will do is make another video for you guys and show you um, when I bottle my kombucha and when we start flavoring it my daughter has already some great ideas on how she wants hers flavored Mm -hmm. right yum 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 okay so remember this is good stuff for you it's a must you should have kombucha it's very good and for this, your... if you're in montreal this brand is super delish yes very the... good this brand is good this one here G we have the gts 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 kombucha <gasps> drink yes this, okay the synergy uh Gingerberry flavor is like this oh one gosh, is so delicious. Uh, this is delicious, even really, really Vigo. good. We haven't tried that one, yeah. And uh, I keep these bottles and I put my kombucha back in here, so it has a good bottle, glass bottle, and it has a nice cap. Uh, because if it has that metal cap, it's good for a while, but after using it over and over again, it starts getting a little gnarly the metal and it just somehow the kombucha and the metal don't mix well together so it's always better to either have stainless steel if you're going to use anything metal inside your uh, when you're mixing or whatever uh, I say use wooden spoons but if you want to mix your kombucha make sure it's stainless steel and not just any kind of metal because it will they don't they're not friends it will not work together so uh, there you go so here's a good one gingerberry delicious delicious but this one here we had in the fridge and it's just plain and I'm gonna add it to my kombucha because I haven't made kombucha in a while and my liquid kind of 
um, evaporated so I didn't have enough liquid because when you make uh, your new batch uh, you start your new batch you always, you always want about two cups of original tea inside with your SCOBY before you add your tea and sugar so it's really not that hard to make so I'm gonna see you in a bit guys hello everyone okay we're back with the kombucha here we go it's the morning after or yes yeah, still morning here um, and I just wanted to show you here is my here is my tea nice and cold not cold but room temperature I guess now my hands are clean I am gonna gently squeeze all the tea bags and get all the tea out of it and then I'm gonna pour this mixture into my jar so how how simple is making kombucha right and I'm just gonna put this aside and Erica can I have you just for two seconds love so here we are I'm just going to uncover it now I already have a little bit of water in here because uh, extra water actually because the water that I had boiled uh, for the tea uh, I did add it into the container and those are my scobies in there and thanks to Erica I'm going to be able to show you how I'm doing this and now I still have a little bit of sugar at the bottom so I'm just going to add a little bit of filtered water and I'm going to rinse this up and just add water maybe up to here because I'm using a larger container I'm not going to fill it all the way up because I want approximately a gallon of tea There we go more water and that is all I'm gonna use in this large container uh, now I'm just gonna cover this up and this is gonna start uh, making a new skin on top we're gonna have to wait for at least I'd say about a week uh, I did add that bottle of starter in here um, sorry that bottle of plain kombucha in here because when I started my new uh, my new batch I didn't have enough starter tea so I used what I had plus I used that extra bottle of plain organic kombucha that I showed you earlier so uh, this is gonna sit in a room temperature place covered always covered because if you don't you're going to have fruit flies going into your kombucha and that's gonna spoil your tea so you want the scoby to start eating up the sugar and the caffeine in your tea and then you're gonna see it's gonna start making a whole new layer a new skin on top of this and that's okay when you start seeing the bubbly uh, you know that it's already starting to ferment on you also taste it when you taste it if you find that it's tangy enough for you especially after a week it might even take longer it depends how big your scoby is um, just taste it if you like how it's tangy and it's not sweet you don't want this to be sweet at all because we're going to be adding uh, fruit juices later uh, so you want this to be a nice tangy but not sweet I mean if you like it sweet you can still drink it that way but I would say uh, if you have a scoby already um, wait a week even two weeks and test your tea then um, and just enjoy this beautiful Tea that's just gonna help and bless your body with an abundance of um, beautiful probiotics and everything that's gonna make your body nice and healthy basically this is gonna just uh, help and promote good flora in your gut and when that is healthy the rest of your body is gonna be healthy so don't be afraid to try it I told you if you don't have a SCOBY go ahead buy yourself plain organic uh, kombucha and then from that you can simply um, simply make your own SCOBY it might take a little longer but don't be afraid uh, I wouldn't start a big batch like this if you're making um, if you're making your own SCOBY I would probably take a small jar like this and put your kombucha in along with some tea and sugar uh, make it nice and sweet and let that uh, and let that kombucha start making its own SCOBY for you but it has to be a raw kombucha so don't go if you don't have a scoby and you want to start from scratch do not make a big jug like this you want to have a small jar and 
uh, just let it do its own thing. Do not keep it closed. Make sure you have something like this on top of your, uh, your jar so that you uh, can make it breathe and do its, uh, do its magic, basically. So there you go. Very simple, simple way of making kombucha. It's not hard at all. And um, the benefits, when I tell you the benefits are crazy, the benefits are crazy. It is the best, best thing you can do for yourself, uh, for your health. Okay, so what happens when someone uh, drinks kombucha? Well, I'll tell you what happens. Your hair gets nicer. Your nails get stronger. Your you have more energy. I remember my aunt, uh, 92 years old, she would drink six bottles a week. If you haven't made it, I would say um, try a couple of bottles, see how you like them, and, um, and that's it. Start making it. I say start making it. Uh, it's one of the best drinks you can have, and you can make this out of using uh, champagne with orange juice. I add fresh orange juice to... Uh, my kombucha and what a treat you sit outside in the summer with a nice glass of um, kombucha with a strawberry in there some fresh orange juice and I'll tell you this is like dessert in heaven I'm telling you it's really really good so there you go guys so there's a close-up of my beautiful scoby and it's gonna do his magic and you're gonna start seeing if you start seeing um, long strandy things Inside your kombucha, don't get scared. That's just the yeast uh, growing and it's going to start making uh, this liquid into a beautiful probiotic. So here you go. Very simple way of making kombucha, guys. And I'm going to say to you, I hope you like this recipe. Uh, I hope you like this video. And uh, if you do, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends. And guess what, guys? I've got a lot more videos for you. So I'll see you soon. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.